5.2a, the student is expected to describe, plan, and implement simple experimental investigations testing one variable. A variable is something that can change in an investigation, and there are three subparts to it. Independent is what you will be changing, dependent what you will be measuring, control what must remain the same. An independent variable is a factor in the experiment that is manipulated by the researcher. This is the thing that is changed, the thing that is tested. A dependent variable is a factor that changes in response to the independent variable. This is what is measured in the experiment. A control variable is a factor or factors that stay constant and unchanging. This helps to keep the experiment fair. I noticed that students would usually be confused about the independent and dependent variables in an experiment. Therefore, I created an easy formula that helps students understand which is which. Mr. E's variable formula. Blank depends on blank. Now, using this formula, fill in the blanks with something you understand, such as, the child depends on the parent. Now, after understanding the formula, fill in the two types of variables. Dependent depends on independent. Lastly, to put it into context, let's use a paper airplane experiment. Again, use the formula to help you understand which is which. So, distance flown depends on airplane design. The filled in formula should make logical sense. What if we said, Airplane design depends on distance flown. That's just not logical. Let's practice with an example. Identify the three types of variables in the following investigation. Your independent variable, dependent variable, and control variable. We have the puzzle experiment. Students of different ages were given the same jigsaw puzzle to put together. They were timed to see how long it took to finish the puzzle. So, we identify the independent variable, that is, the students of different ages. The dependent variable is how long it took to finish. And the control variable is the same jigsaw puzzle. Therefore, if we use our formula, let's fill in the blanks. Time to finish depends on the age of the student. Let's practice with one more example, our helicopter experiment. Three different sizes, or wing length, of paper helicopters were dropped from the same height. They were timed to see how long it took to descend or fall to the ground. The independent variable is the helicopter wing length. Dependent is how long it took to descend. Control is the same drop height. So if we fill in our formula, it will say flight time depends on the wing length. Remember, 5.28 emphasizes that the experiment should be planned, described, and implemented by the student. Also, their experiment should only test one variable. But the single variable should be divided into three specific parts, independent, dependent, and control variables. Use our free experimental investigation template for student labs. 
Use our free scientific method poster to understand investigations even better. Learn much more about using the scientific method and investigations in the science class. Subscribe today.